once you have captured an image, notice that there is a orange pencil on images that are not yet saved. You can manually right click and save selected. You can select the save icon below the images at the top of the page, or more usefully, you can use autosave. Autosave will automatically save your experiment and your captures into the correct folder. For this microscope, the computer has two hard drives. Data should be stored on the data drive during your session. You can create a folder with your name and this should be where you save your data during the imaging session. So in the autosave, you want to point to that folder It will automatically create a subfolder with today's date if it is ticked. And you can change your file prefix to something relevant to you and your group. The file name preview shows you the path as well as the file name, including a number that is incremented automatically for each capture. With all Zen Blue windows, you can undock them and move them around freely on the image or dock them back and they'll snap into the grid. Some menus also have the show all, which lets you see a number of additional options that you may require. There is also the ability to automatically export images. This will allow you to take out TIFFs or JPEGs. And again, you can navigate to your working folder by the file path, add in a prefix that is relevant to these samples and choose the output format. We do not recommend using JPEG due to compression issues and would always recommend TIFF. Ideally, you will not perform any compression. You should store the XML metadata. And if required, you can place these captures into subfolders by ticking the relevant option. There is also experiment regions, which lets you capture smaller areas of the camera chip and the automation option, which lets you capture uh, images and perform macros either during or after the experiment on the results and talk to facility staff if that's required. Images that are saved as a CZI from this microscope can be loaded into the software and the reuse button will then apply those same settings back to the microscope, including which channels and exposure times were used, but it will not do things like stage XY positions or Z positions. 